All right, Quincy here for On the Grind Boxing Canada. I'm here with Kerry Davis from HBO. Uh, Kerry, can you talk a little bit about uh, who HBO wants to be the face of HBO with the absence of Floyd Mayweather Jr.? Huh, that's an interesting question. Um, you know what? I don't know who I want to be the face of HBO. Here's what's going to happen. Someone's going to emerge as the face of HBO. We don't choose it. That guy just appears. No, no one would have. You know, Ten years ago, if you would have told me Manny Pacquiao for many years to be the face of HBO, I would tell, okay, you know, listen, we thought he'd be good. We didn't think he'd be this good. All right, so I think, you know, there are a number of candidates. There are a number of guys who can emerge. Uh, first of all, you know, I don't know if Floyd Mayweather's hung him up yet. Uh, I don't know if Manny Pacquiao's not returning to HBO yet. Uh, so there's too many things that can happen. Let's just say we have a bunch of faces in HBO right now. Can you talk a little bit about Sergio Martinez and his next possible fight? There was rumors that it might be in Argentina. Would HBO be prepared? to go to Argentina to cover such a fight? First of all, I love Sergio Martinez. Uh, when you talk about faces of HBO, he's, you know, uh, he's one of those guys on, you know, we used to do those posters and we like six, seven, eight guys. He's one of those guys really close to the middle. You notice the guys close to the middle? They're the bigger guys. He's really close to the middle. Uh, that being said, uh, he's probably not going to fight in Argentina. Uh, I don't know if he's going to fight in America or not, but it definitely won't be Argentina. That's what those people have told me recently. Uh, uh, they prefer to fight in the United States. Uh, he's trying to, you know, uh, build on his following here. That's important to him. Uh, and so depending on the opponent, the type of fight it ends up being, it'll depend on what coast he'll end up fighting on. But I'm pretty sure to be in the United States. Uh, Bernard Hopkins signed a multi-fight agreement with HBO. If he wins on Saturday night, what does he have left to prove? Is there any kind of names that HBO is looking at? Uh, well, one of the things that we're looking at uh, is potentially if Dawson were to win uh, Saturday night as well, uh, that he could fight Dawson in a fight again, which in America would be a pretty big fight. These guys have danced around each other for a while. Uh, in addition, you know what? You never know what you know Bernard wants to prove. I mean, he may want to fight the winner of the Super 6 tournament that uh, the Showtime's doing, a guy like Andre Ward, you know, again, you know, that hasn't been discussed specifically what he would do. Uh, I know Dawson is one of the main things he's looking at, uh, but, you know, obviously that's not a fait accompli, and that's he's certainly, Dawson certainly in a tough fight Saturday, especially fighting the Akinem here in Canada. So we'll, we'll see what happens, but, you know, uh, as I set up on the podium, uh, he's not ready to write the movie ending yet. So, you know, you know we'll, I'm not gonna, and I'm not certainly not going to write him off yet. All right, final question. Bernard Hopkins, he's, he's been calling out Luchan Butte, another great champion from Montreal. Yep. Butte signed with Showtime. Yep. Is there any possibility that fight could go down? I think so. I, I, you know, I, I don't believe that, uh, again, I don't know the details of Butte's contract, uh, but, you know, the... Uh, I, sir, I think that the intention for Butte is he's going to fight the winner of the Super 6. Uh, and then, you know, and maybe Hopkins fights Dawson, and then maybe next year the two of them can get together. You never know. Uh, but I think Butte is also another fight that, we, you know, that would be a terrific fight for the sport. And whether it happens, you know, with us or not, that's, you know, that's, uh, that's still to be determined. All right, Kerry, okay, welcome to Montreal. Thank you. Thank you.